Hey, what's up, people of the internet? Hello. You already hear the name of this every single time. I know that you watch my channel, but I give you attention 24-7. You're really giving so much attention. You're acting like a baby. You see this? You see this? I'm acting like a baby, huh? You're so cute. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so today's video is going to be about the Bible Project. Anyway. <laughs> Back to what I'm here for. I'm just gonna throw this in a vlog because it doesn't have that much stuff in it. Okay, anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and acknowledge the fact that I look kind of crazy. My hair looks awful. I don't look great. I haven't been to the gym in a good bit and I'm definitely feeling it and I'm lactose intolerant and I ate a bunch of cheese last night, which was a terrible idea. If you're lactose intolerant, then you definitely know the struggle. Cheese is like my favorite thing and to be like, why would, why would I be lactose intolerant when cheese is my favorite thing? But I know cheese and dairy, like cow dairy is not good for you. And I know I need to be trying all the vegan cheese and all that great stuff, non-dairy cheese. I know. I just haven't found a good one. So if you are vegan or lactose intolerant and you know a good dairy-free cheese, please let me know. But anyway, today's Monday the 17th, August 17th. So school's starting pretty soon, which is pretty scary. It's my last semester. I'm excited, but I feel like my classes are going to be pretty hard. I'm taking Spanish 3 and 4. I don't know why my major I have to have four semesters of Spanish, but for some reason, or four semesters of a foreign language, but for some reason I do. So that's a fun time. This package today from American Eagle. So I'm gonna open it on camera. I don't know, like, I just really like doing like first impression type of things because I really enjoy watching people's like first initial raw reactions when they, you know, order things online or they get things. And I ordered a pretty expensive denim jacket on here, so just to see if it looks how it looked online, even though I did read the reviews. So I'm just gonna pull out, I ordered about four things, I think. Okay, so I did get a necklace. I'm excited. That's bubble wrap. <laughs> I love bubble wrap. I'm a child. I'm a child at heart. Okay. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. So I've been really, really, really into gold lately, if you can't tell. Ooh, this feels nice. It feels actually pretty nice. I think I got this on sale for like $11. I guess we can try it on. But it's just like this little, it's a little coin necklace. I'm excited about this because I don't really have very many necklaces in general, gold necklaces. And this one's like kind of chunky. And it's one of those ones where you don't have to worry about where the clasp kind of goes because it goes, it clasp, clasps, ugh, clasps in the front. Ooh, that's cute. I'm gonna keep this on for the rest of the video. That is so cute. My hair looks ridiculous today. Well, first impression of the necklace. Love, love, love. I will, I will link it down below. As long as it doesn't turn, it's really heavy too. It's like a good heavy feeling of heavy. And it doesn't, as long as it doesn't turn my neck green, which y'all will definitely see because I'm gonna be wearing this like every day. It's I'm probably gonna layer it with this Amazon one that I already have. This has not turned green and it, it's amazing. So, pretty obsessed. Okay, I also got some biker shorts. <laughs> okay, I'm a little scared about these. They look kind of long and I don't like long bike shorts. But I will insert a clip of me trying. Come on. Okay, okay. So I got an extra small. I'm glad I got an extra small because they definitely look like the correct size. And they have pockets. Ooh, we'll see if my phone will fit. Okay, so they feel, first impression, they feel good. You can do like the stretch test, you know, to see if they're going to be squat proof. Oh, I don't know. They're kind of sheer when you stretch them. But they look like this. We'll see what they look like on my legs. Because hopefully they're high enough rise to where they don't look too long because I'm not a fan of the long look. I got this little shirt. I also got an extra small because I didn't have a small. I would usually get a small. So hopefully it fits okay. Okay, yeah, it will, it'll fit. It's just like this little tank top. I just have been into really simple black tanks lately. I think that they just look really nice, especially with gold. 
so that looks like this. It's kind of sheer, but we'll try it on. We'll see. We will see how it goes. I'm wearing a bralette today, so. Okay, and last, but certainly not least, I got this big boyfriend jacket. And the retail price on this is $79.95, which is ridiculous. I got it on sale. I think they were having like 30% off or something. And then I had like a $15 reward and a $5 reward. Because I shopped there way too much. And I've seen these denim jackets before. Okay, dang, this is really, really large. It just looks like this. I don't know. Let me see. I want to try this one on like right now. I need to stop ordering things. Have y'all noticed a theme that in like every single one of my videos lately, it's been like, ooh, look at this. Look at this new thing that I just bought. Like girl girl you need to slow down i'm just telling myself like when i'm editing this like slow down on the spending slow down girl Ooh, the, the, i like how the arm fits already because it's not tight and this is an extra small as well i feel like airy oh that was my guitar <laughs> i feel like american eagle and airy run really large let's see okay this is what the jacket looks like rolled up i really like it i think this is super cute i could definitely see myself wearing this with like the little necklaces that i have and um it's just really nice to just throw on i could wear this with like some dark wash jeans you could wear this with some black jeans some leggings it does cover your butt and so that, that's awesome like i really like this jacket i think it was worth it definitely make sure that if you're gonna get it get it when it's on sale but I could definitely see myself wearing this, even with the biker shorts. I could see myself wearing that as a whole outfit if the biker shorts fit. But I'm about to go try on all that stuff, all the other items, and then I will add some clips in. But the jacket is definitely a yes, and it's so cute. It has like all these little rips all over it. I'll link it down below. Hopefully it goes on sale again, because this is great. This is amazing. I would definitely recommend getting like a size down or your regular size i mean i'm usually an extra small or a small just depending on how i want everything to fit but in the oversized stuff i always get extra small and always fits perfect even this shirt is extra small and it's oversized very nice i don't know but like american eagle definitely runs kind of big i don't know i guess i can tell you all my measurements for future so i'm 5'4 with 25 inch waist i'm about 115 pounds so that's kind of that's my measurements in case anybody you know is around my size or you just want to kind of compare uh, i always think it's helpful to have like whenever on websites and stuff when the models have their measurements i find it really really helpful i think it helps a lot to kind of compare what things are going to look like on you and and everything like that but yeah i've been ranting a lot i'm just gonna go try on the other stuff and putting clips in And keep in mind this is with a this is with a bralette so this lacy part is my bralette not my not the shirt guys not the shirt so yeah i really like how this shirt fits it's not too see-through you can't really see anything through it so that's nice i feel like this could be like a, just a cute cash top or it could be a workout top i don't know i might use it for both i probably will so the biker shorts, I still don't know how I feel about these. I'll let y'all let me know in the comments. I have never had like real biker shorts. I usually just get those like mid shorts, like type of workout shorts. I don't know how I feel about these y'all. I, let, let me just show you. I feel like they're too long. But I guess with like something, something like long, it could work. I don't know y'all. Okay, let me just see here. Let me just see what this would look like on. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, let's see. See, this is like a hole. 
how do we feel about this as an outfit? Cool? Like a transition outfit? I don't know. How do we feel? How do we feel, y'all? I don't know. Um, I definitely like the jacket. Ooh, the pockets. Y'all, it has so much room in the pockets and there's no holes in the pockets. So you could straight up put your entire phone in there. Like, no joke. No joke at all. Uh... Oh yeah, and by the way, these shorts, like, even though these are my size and they fit me, but if you have any type of a butt or any type of hips, it's gonna feel like it's breaking, putting it over your butt or your hips. Cause I don't have like that much of hips, but like more than, more than some. And I don't have that much of a butt. It, yeah, it definitely felt like it was ripping going over my hips, like right here. So, Keep that in mind if you have a booty. Cause like, I don't even really have a booty and I did that. Like, what the heck? Okay, the outfit. This is the look. I don't know if I'm gonna keep these shorts or not. They are very comfy. Once you get them on, I guess I could see myself wearing these just, I would have to really figure out a way to dress them up or I would just have to wear them to the gym. This is very heavy duty by the way, like pretty heavy. I would hope so for a retail price of eighty dollars, but yeah. Uh, my favorite thing is definitely the jacket. My second favorite thing, definitely the necklace. These shorts. I'm still contemplating if I want them or not. I just feel like the length. Maybe the length is fine. Maybe I'm just tripping. Let me see here. You can kind of see what the length it look is looking like. I just wish. I think I just like my shorts up to like here. You know but these are nice and they don't give that weird look i don't know and they're, it doesn't make your the back of your legs look bad which some do some biker shorts can do that but yeah hey guys so i am currently making myself some dinner i just kind of wanted to show y'all what I'm making, um, it was super, super easy and it's relatively healthy, but basically, so I went ahead and cut up two potatoes and you can kind of see them in here and I, um, put them in the pan with some garlic pepper, some garlic pepper and then some Himalayan sea salt. And then I cut up some beef sausage, if you can see the little piece right there. And I also threw that in there. And then I just have these frozen packs of vegetables. I have the spinach one right now. So I put some spinach and I then I also put some, um, a pack of frozen broccoli, carrots, and cauliflower. And then I'm making rice that I'm gonna also have with it. But yeah, that's just a, like a really, really simple dinner. And this I can have for like a few nights because it makes like a, a lot. So yeah, yeah, still looking a mess. It's the same day. I figured since I'm already have all this stuff out and since I've had, sorry, I'm like cleaning up so my dog doesn't get into all this plastic packaging. But I figured I would like kind of update y'all on this Target beauty box. Um, I should have, I haven't posted the video like as of this moment in time, but I am pretty sure I will have it posted. Well, I definitely will have it posted before I post this vlog. Hopefully I can take y'all with me doing stuff this week actually, because my boyfriend's coming into town this weekend. So we're actually gonna go do things. I know I told him that we're going to the cafe and I really wanna go to Joe T. Garcia's because I really just wanna get dressed up and go drink margaritas so yeah that's a good excuse but um so i just wanted to like update y'all on this beauty box because i have tried out every single thing in here and i kept the packaging um actually i didn't try one thing because i couldn't get over the feeling of it to even give it a try so i'm not gonna lie and be like yeah i tried this but i didn't so you can just disregard one thing in here but okay so I guess I'll start with this one. I have been using this a lot. 
I really like it. Um, I feel like it makes your hair, it gives your hair like a shine whenever you use it. Like, I'm trying to show y'all. See, but see my hair has been curled for a few days and I have only curled it once. And you do this and you put it over the curls and it just, it makes the, your hair look so shiny. And nice and um, I would recommend this. I don't know how much the retail price, it doesn't even tell you. That's fun time. I don't know how much the re retail price of a full size bottle of this would be, but I am definitely gonna repurchase it maybe or try out a different um, dry conditioner because I do like the way that it makes my hair feel. And anything that's like claims to be moisturizing and it actually kind of makes my feel moist my hair feel moisturized, I'm gonna like. I'm just gonna continue spraying this because you know why not. But I feel like it just does make your hair, it gives your hair that nice conditioned look, I guess, like moisturized, conditioned look. Next. So today I actually did try out this, these uni shower sheets. It says large body wipe instantly cleanses, refreshes, and deodorizes. Personally, I don't like the way these smell. I smell like almost like lemon and mint put together. I don't know. I don't like the smell of these, but they do make you feel fresh and clean. I did use this like just under my arms and stuff real quick. And I feel like it did like remove the residue from here. I can show you what it looks like. Like I just used it on my arm underarms. I don't think there's anything on it, but they're, they're huge. They're pretty big. So you could actually like use this to take almost like a mini shower and like rub dirt off of you and stuff. I feel like these, I'm not sure how much these are or anything or how much they, you know, how many packets come in a packet or, or something, but this is a great concept because like just by looking at here, I'm just like wiping it up my arm and it feels, it has just like this really weird, really good cooling sensation. So I feel like if you're like on a road trip and you're like, you know, stay sleeping in your car overnight or something like that. These are great because I feel like they make you feel really fresh and clean. If you were going to do like a, this is definitely something that I would include in like a little backpack or something. If I was going to go give like little, um, like backpacks or kits or something to like homeless people, I feel like this would be, it's really easy to use and they smell decent. If you like that smell personally, it's not for me, but they make you feel really, really clean. So I guess I would recommend those. It'd be great if you're an athlete and you just wanna like wipe the sweat off yourself real quick if you have to be somewhere else. Okay, so next, I just wanna talk about this polish remover. It says Rose Polish Remover, Biodegradable Cloths. Um, it doesn't work. It straight up, it straight up did not work. Like I'm just gonna show this to you. I was trying to get a very light pink polish off my nails and nothing, no polishes on here. It, it straight up just didn't work. I was sitting there scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing. And at that point, it's just easier to get a cotton ball and some acetone and take your polish off that way because it comes off a lot faster. They, these just did not work. I would not recommend these. These are terrible. Don't, didn't like it. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, so the next thing I tried out, which I tried these out for several days, um, this, these are the Lumify um, eye drops, and they look like the package looks like this. It came in like a little tube like this. I use it for a few days, and they make your your eyes feel really hydrated. And I also did not know that apparently this is like a TikTok thing that people have been talking about because I, I came across it on someone else's video. I, I'm not sure who, but I came across these eye drops, and she was talking about them. Um, and how they're like on TikTok or whatever, and they're supposed to make your eyes look whiter. And I think they really do. I I used it like a couple of days, but or at work because like at work we're wearing masks and I don't wear any makeup or anything. And your eyes are like the only thing you see because everything from here down is like covered up, right? So I put the eye drops in just to try to make my eyes look whiter, brighter. If they do work and they make your eyes feel really good and moisturized, if you suffer from um, having dry eyes. So I think they're pretty pricey. I think they're like $15, but I bet you they probably last a good while because the little tiny sample size lasted me a few days and it's tiny. But the sample size was like this, this tiny, like 
that's how much product is in there. And it worked out pretty good. So, yeah, moving on. So this is the product I didn't try. Honestly Fresh Natural Sea Mineral Pro Prebiotic Deodorant. I'm just not in, I haven't gotten on the natural deodorant train. And I don't think I will. I don't like how it smells. It It's very like oily feeling. Like it doesn't feel like deodorant and I just don't think it's gonna work for me. I mean, I guess I need to try it. I might keep it just in case or I might give it to my sister or something like somebody else to try it. But for me, just no. Um, okay, so the next thing I did try these for five days. It gave me a five day um, supply. They're the Ray Distress Calm Your Mind and Fight Mental Fatigue Vitamins. Um, I did like them. I think they're pretty pricey for what you're getting. They smell kind of minty and you can feel the minty thing go down your throat. You can like feel it. It's weird. I don't know how I feel. I didn't know how I felt about it. I do take these other vitamins too that, um, or you can just find it like Kroger or whatever. Let me grab them, but they work just as well. My friend actually got me, got these vitamins for me. They are the Nature's Bounty Anxiety and Stress Relief. They look like this. I'll have them linked below as well, but I think these work just as great and they are a lot more affordable than these. But if you want to try these, I think they're worth it. They're pretty good. Okay. And then lastly, I told y'all I didn't try this specific sample, but last summer I did try these drops and I don't like them. They do make your face, if you put them on your face, they make your face look very patchy and orange. And these were also medium and I tried light last time and the light made me orange. So I didn't even want to go there. So if anybody, if any of my friends that are watching wants a free sample of the Tanologist face and body drops in the color medium, let me know because I have an untouched sample of that that I won't be using. Or if any of my friends want this deodorant, I know I, I know I put my finger all over it, but if you want to try this deodorant, let me know. I'll give it to you for free. For, for free. Month. I might buy one of these boxes every month because they're relatively cheap. I also really, really want to do a video on either the Amazon magnetic lashes or the Target magnetic lashes. Um, if you have a preference, please comment down below which one you'd rather see me do, or if you have specific ones, that'd be cool. But I want to do the ones that, not the, I'm not talking about the, magnet, the magnetic lashes that like, they have a magnetic strip on the actual lash and then on the bottom and then you have to clip it. I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about, I'm talking about the ones with the magnetic liner. Uh, those really intrigue me and I've watched a lot of videos and they seem relatively easy to put on and if that could be Like that could be a game changer for a lot of people I know especially for me because every single time that I try to put on Like real lashes with glue. It doesn't go well and it doesn't look well and I Don't know what it is. Like I'm just not blessed at putting on lashes if you're one of those girls that can put on false lashes all the time Oh goodness, you are a queen because I cannot, I, I'm just, no, I don't understand. I, I just don't understand how it works. If anyone wants to try to teach me, <laughs> that would be, that would be literally amazing. But yeah, I guess I should go. I guess I should go. This is probably going to be a pretty long video. But oh well. I guess I'm going to go. Bye y'all. Journey. <laughs> it's actually I wish. like two days. Oh, you're still recording.